Like tennis, food, travel? Well, I'm your guy. My name is Omar Miller. Join me as I explore the wonderful cities that host the Grand Slam tournaments, starting with Paris. Day two, Paris. So, I got a little sleep. Now I want to get out and about and meet the locals, feel the community. There's a street artist that I follow that's agreed to meet up with me and showcase some of his work. Oh, there he is now. Yo! <laughs> I'm waiting for you. How are you, man? I'm fantastic. You, you know, it's, uh, it's the name of the, um, of the mural is Repent. Repent? No, ah, Repent. Ah, when, okay. Uh, the city is too loud. Yes, and too you much. need to, uh, to stop. Come. Uh, uh, Sometimes uh, I have no inspiration at all, but I have no energy. Yes. No, you need to charge yeah, your battery. Yeah. But sometimes uh, for two months I have nothing to, to, to give and uh, I need to, to travel. I was in Congo uh, six days ago. Wow. So now it's like uh, every day. Every day I paint on the street you're and I have a lot now of you're things. Full. Yes. Wow. And uh, I start at seven, finish at at, uh, at nine p.m. Uh -huh. And I uh, I was uh, you know when you have something to to, to, to say. It's, uh, yeah. It's easy. When you have something to say, you, it's easier to get it out. You check that out. This is what's awesome. People come from all over the world <laughs> just to appreciate your stuff. <laughs> I can't draw a stick figure. Yes, yeah, for sure you can. No, man. Yeah. I can't draw. I, I mean, I know you're you beautiful. I have that for you. <laughs> We will try. <laughs> oh, this is dope. It's your turn, man. We spent the afternoon in the Dusy and Marron de Simon exploring where Raphael got his start. He then introduced me to one of the OGs that allowed him to paint his first storefront. So my man is really, really impressive. He moved from Algeria after the Algeria gained independence. He, was, he worked in the south of France with kids, teaching them how to write and, and teaching them about nutrition and so on and so forth because obviously it's very important. He also does mobile design, and I said, what you've done is you've created a mobile living room right here. And he said, yeah, actually, every night we have appetizers, we have a couple of drinks, we hang out, and that's exactly what it is. It's, <laughs> it's like a mobile living room. Wow, that's pretty cool. Now he's the mayor of La Rue. <laughs> He's just explaining the, the village nature of, of Paris in general, but of this area especially, and how people, as everybody, people come, they go, there's young, there's old, everybody's living around everybody. Paris has one of the best public transit systems in the world. You can bike, bus, train, or walk pretty much everywhere. Now it's time to eat. So I called up a friend and met him at his restaurant. The story is of Kinu. It's a family, it's a very old uh, Japanese family called Kinu Gawa. Okay. And they set up uh, those three restaurants they used to have. The quality of fish is the main driver right. of the scenes. People are traveling, uh, going everywhere in the world, so they try to compare uh, here yeah, and there. Yeah, you have to. My favorite thing about Paris, and it's something that's about you, that's in you and everybody else that I know personally from Paris, yeah. is the diversity in spirit. Exactly. You have everybody together exactly. here. This is a real unification city. Favorite tennis player of all time? For me, John McEnroe. I mean, really? I, I, grew, I, grew, I mean, it was a fight between my brother and me. He was a big fan of Jimmy Connors, and I was a really? big fan of John McEnroe. So uh, today, I mean, for me, uh, Federer, for, for instance, has uh, a great, great class. So he represents the game well. Exactly. I am very keen to see people with elegance, and you know, and I think uh, his his play is very elegant. Hopefully, we will have an elegant dinner as well tonight. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful day on the streets of Paris, and wonderful night even. It's still almost 10 o'clock and it's light outside. No wonder everybody eats and drinks so late. I'm gonna go get into some private stuff, um, but thank you for rocking with me. And I'm going to go to my car that I'm too tall for. That's not my car. <laughs> <laughs> 